Michael Anos, an eye-opening billboard as people talking in Texas will let you know why a church is calling Christians jerks. Uh, all right, uh, change things up here a little bit. Texas Church is, is trying to make a point by calling out its own members, calling them names to be, uh, as a matter of fact. There's the billboard. What a bunch of jerks are basically saying Christians are too judgmental, too hypocritical. What do you think of that? Do you agree or not? Keep following that one. Uh, and also this one. It's been real talker today. Name calling from a Christian church, basically calling out other Christians. There's this big billboard. It's a church in Texas, clearly states, what a bunch of jerks. And again, it's calling out Christians. Beaumont, Texas, not apologizing here. They're basically saying that uh, Christians are judgmental, hypocritical. And we've been asking you today, what do, what do you think of that? Do, do Christians have an image problem? Or are you on the other side and say, you know what? Sometimes when you stand up for your faith and what you believe is right and wrong, not everybody's going to like you. Gabe Lyons is back with us. He's author of the new book, The Next Christians, How a New Generation is Restoring the Faith. Let's get your take on that billboard. Do you like that ploy? I mean, obviously, they're getting some attention. Well, I'm not a big fan of churches using gimmicks to get people to their church, but I, I do think what their message is will resonate with the general public. And it, and it actually embodies a lot of what a lot of younger Christians think. They're, they're fed up with being tied to the religious right are being thought of as a certain type of Christian, and they're, they're ready to kind of come out of the closet, so to speak, and, and be who they've been meant to be, which is to be a great follower of Jesus. And be involved in more than just a couple of issues, right? Absolutely. I mean, the, the, the issues that Christians are involved in, everything from a nuclear proliferation and trying to work against that towards world peace to adoption reform, on and on, there's, there's a ton of issues that these Christians are taking up and getting involved in. But if they have convictions on abortion, same-sex marriage, you're not saying back off those either, though. No, I just think we have to recognize we live in a society where not everybody signed up for the same morality that Christians maybe have. Mm. And so to assume that everybody else should act and live the way that a Christian believes they should act on their convictions is a, is a really bad assumption. Mm. All right, let's get a call in. Debbie's with us, Ohio. Debbie, your thoughts on this, the billboard, our conversation? Go ahead. Well, I, I agree with the uh, young author there. Um, I think organized religion as a whole fosters hypocritical thinking, such as uh, you've got to have your Sunday best on before you even go to church. Mm. And um, church is, is like having a membership card. You know, you go once a week and you throw your quarter in the plate and you've paid your dues for another week, so you've got a, a membership card to go to heaven. For De the week. Debbie, do you go to church now or not? Uh, no, I'm no. very spiritual, but uh, not a church I going. do not go to church. Okay. Um, let, I've let me got let, a one on. Debbie, thanks for calling. Let me let Gabe weigh in on uh, what Debbie's saying there. Yeah, I think Debbie's absolutely correct. I mean, she represents probably a lot of Americans who see themselves as very spiritual, but not really wanting to tie themselves to religious institutions. And her statement that a lot of people treat church or being a Christian as a membership card to go to heaven is absolutely dead on. People think Christians are proselytizers and only interested in getting people to heaven. But what I found in, in my own work with these next Christians, this next generation, is they actually understand that, that becoming a Christian has a lot to do with how they're living their life on this earth, not only about some afterlife. And so I think that's actually a pretty attractive thing for a lot of people who are interested in a faith that says something about our real world. Real quick, we got about 10 seconds. The younger generation Christians and the old school folks, can, you, can, can they bridge together and Absolutely. talk salvation and issues? Yeah, I think so. And I think that's, I call this group the restorers because that's what they're doing. They're, they're bridging the gap between not just being liberal and not having any okay. conviction or views, and they're also getting involved in the theology of what it really means to follow All right. Christ. Gabe, great talking to you. More HLN News now coming up. Stay with us.